Today we are going to be dealing with art. In this case, my partner Anne's art. Now, where Anne gets these ideas uh, is interesting because she does not get these art ideas from any particular place. For example, she may be watching a TV show and see a scene or something and that goes into her mind and she's already drawing it in her mind before she even starts to do it on the outside that's one way she does it another way she does it she'll simply imagine something another way she does it she has magazines from the american art society and she'll she'll copy some things for in there which she likes or for example she'll find some advertisements that very tiny little things like this and she'll use a magnifying glass and create her art from there. Now, the other thing she does with her art is to use various kinds of drawing uh, uh, things to draw with, not just one kind of pen or one kind of pencil or one kind of color. She uses a variety of them. And also she's concerned with perspective. She wants the picture to look so it has perspective and some of them actually when you look at them become what you would call 3d so this is quite fascinating now i don't have her here today to hold these pictures up but if i take one like this for example and put it here that gives you a pretty good picture of it so this is an album that I have where she has a great deal of, of pictures in here. Now, some of them are like that, and some of them are straight up and down like this. So it is harder to get a picture of those in. But what you will notice here in these art drawings is that they are all kinds of things. And you will notice, for example, here is a church. But of course, not just the church. You will see the clouds, you will see the, the grass, the landscape. All of these are put together quite well. And in some of them, you will find this little place where you can go out and jump into the water, if you like. You see that? or tie a boat to it. Now this comes from a part of Vermont. Uh, this one here is particularly interesting because here is an actual little boat in the same place tied up. Same type of thing. Uh, so that is an example. Now here's another example of the same thing. Pretty much the same but without the boat you see there. And some of these also have names on the top and the date that they were done. For example, this is Lake George in New York State. Some of them have no titles whatsoever. Now here's another one with Oh, well, this is Adirondacks Mountains. You see? Now that's a sample of some of the art. Now, some of them have very large uh, trees. For example, this is just simply called Hillside View. Now notice the trees here, how they're drawn. You get very good color of the trees, the size of the trees, the type of trees, and what's behind them, and what's in front of them. All done very well. So, we will continue with this shortly. This all has to do with art done by my partner, uh, who is well qualified to do this. She started this quite young. And then she stopped for quite a while and then picked it up again more recently. And as she goes, it tends to improve. 
because this is a talent she was born with. She didn't particularly study this at all. She could have, I think, and done well. But we will continue this art shortly. Thank you for watching.